today we are going to discuss about reciprocity theorem here this shows the circuit for the reciprocity theorem so in the case of reciprocity theorem before and after interchanging the sources the response must be same now this is before interchanging and this is after interchanging the sources before and after interchanging the sources the response that means the current must be same that means here the current i1 must be is equal to this is i am assuming it as i1 this i1 current must be is equal to this i2 current that means before and after interchanging the sources the response must be equal that is what we need to verify okay. to verify reciprocity theorem i am taking breadboard and two 1 coulomb resistances and one 2.2 coulomb resistance and uh, rps ammeter okay now see the circuit in this circuit <coughs> we are going to take a 1 coulomb resistance and place this 1 coulomb resistance anywhere on the breadboard initially so here yeah, 1 coulomb resistance is placed now after that second 1 kilo ohm resistance first end is connected to the first 1 kilo ohm resistance second end that means here we need to place vertically on the same place first 1 kilo ohm second end is connected to the second 1 kilo ohm first end vertically on the same place now the second end of this one you can connect anywhere on the breadboard okay now take 2.2 kilo ohm resistance and connect this first end to the this point that means r1 second end r2 first end where it is in the breadboard here now this is the node now at this node we need to connect the 2.2 to one end one end is connected to the vertically on the same plus okay now second end we can place anywhere on the breadboard okay now these three are completed now we are going to connect ammeter positive to the r2 second end now see here this is my ammeter positive connect this to the r2 second end now this is my r2 connect here vertically on the same place <coughs> okay thereafter ammeter negative is connected to 2.2 second end where is 2.2 second end here this is a 2.2 second end now this is my ammeter negative this is connected to 2.2 second end here vertically on the same place it is connected okay next see the rps connection now rps positive is connected to the r1 first end now see this is my rps positive this is connected to the r1 first end now this is my r1 r1 first end thereafter rps negative is connected to the 2.2 second end now see this is my rps negative here this negative is connected to the 2.2 second end now this is my 2.2 second end okay vertically on the same place it is connected okay now this connection is completed <coughs> now i'm going to verify the current okay how much current we are going to get we need note down for that i'm applying the voltage as uh, you can apply 5 10 15 20 that is up to you but here i'm applying it as some 10 volts okay Okay, when you apply the voltage 10 volts, you are getting 4.09. Okay, note on that value 4.09. So here this value is 4.09 current value. Okay. <coughs> now we need to connect the second circuit. Oh, here this is my second circuit now remove all the connections that means this uh, rps and ammeter connections are removed see here remaining three resistors placed are same place three resistors there is no change in these places only these two are interchanged ammeter and voltmeter these two are interchanged now see here rps positive is connected to the r2 second end now see this is my rps positive rps positive is connected to the r2 second end this is my r2 okay next 
RPS negative is connected to the 2.2 second end. Now this is my negative. Connect this one to the second end of 2.2. Okay. Thereafter, if you observe the ammeter connection, see here. Ammeter positive is connected to the R1 first end. Now see here. This is my ammeter positive. This is connected to the R1 first end. Now here. R1 first end. Okay, thereafter, ammeter negative is connected to the 2.2 second end. Yes, here 2.2 second end you need to connect. Now this is the connection of second diagram. Okay, again we need to apply the supply voltage as 10 volts. There we need to get same current. That means previous current we need to get. That means 4.09 we need to get here. Then only the response term is verified. Okay, now I am going to switch on the supply. Now apply the voltage as 10 volts. Now 10 volts is applied. Here also we are getting 4.08. Now no donor value 4.08. 4. Point zero eight. Now see here we do see the answers both the cases. Here it is 4.08. In previous case also we got the value as 4.09 that means in both the cases the current is same that means before interchanging after interchanging the current is same hence the reciprocal term is verified